Hello and welcome. I am the Urban Animist. I'm here to bring you a guide to the unknown and the unseen. So in an attempt to try to produce more videos with quality content, I'm just trying to post as much as I can. Whenever I get a feeling that I should or talk about something, I'm going to do it. So there you go. So today, today I'm going to discuss one of my best friends, the Concho River. Now, the Concho is a very old river. It's a runoff or a tributary of the Colorado River. The Concho River is estimated to have um, been flowing for five million years. The way I see him, and it is a him, he is the river father, that's what I call him, AF Aether, and I also call him Old Man Concho. Now recently, he went through a rebirthing process in which he's not so old anymore. I don't know how to explain that. He's still old, but he's not an old man, an elderly man. So the reason I'm telling you this is because I want to explain what I do and how I do it. So funny thing about him is that the Concho River has been sacred to the native populations forever. Now, the small little town that I was raised in that's right outside of the city that I live in now, its name is Cristobal. And every year, every year when it was first established, the Baptists would have a retreat there at the river in what we call Pew Park. Now, they would bathe in the waters because it was said to be healing. The mineral springs were said to be some of the most healing there are. And over 10,000 people a year would go to the river and bathe in it. Now, when I moved back home, this is my hometown, when I moved back home, I felt a connection to the river that I had never noticed because I'd only visited my hometown because family's here. But I started to work with him and talk to him. And through working and talking to him, I found that he is a very kindly spirit. He loves people and he misses when people would give him recognition and speak with him and work with him. And so that's what I did. And I've made one of the best friendships I could ever have. Talk about one of the most amazing feelings, knowing that this river cares for you as much as you care for it. Now he's not alone. He has, okay, he has a wife. A wife is pretty, I'm using that loosely. His mother goddess or counterpart, not counterpart, I don't know how to explain this, is she is a primordial turtle mother. I call her turtle mother or Anglo-Saxon, in Old English, uh, beardling madragasand is kind of what I say. They have children who are deities. This is a water deity, a river spirit, an old god to the old Native Americans. And the turtle mother is primordial mother to all of the red, red slider turtles that live in the river. Now they have two daughters that I know of and other children that I've never met yet. But the two daughters that I do know of, one is the queen of lilies because the Concho River is home to the most diverse species of water lilies in the entire world. Magic, I'm telling you. And then the other daughter is the heron mother. She's the primordial mother of all blue herons. She is beautiful and kind and great. They all are. They've helped me through some tough situations. They've been there for me like real friends. All you have to do is open yourself up to this communication. Come to them. Talk to them. If you don't hear them at first, just let them know your intentions. Tell them you, wanna, you want to know them and you want to know their spirit, their power, their strength. You want to befriend them and they will. They'll befriend you. Another thing is um, when I first started working with him, 
Concho. I call him Aya, as in river. Um, when I first started working with him, I asked him what kind of offerings he would like, and he told me bring him plums. So I do. Now, they love them. I bring four plums for each of them every now and then. Sometimes I will bring a plum for the goddess Hel, Hela, and I will drop it in the river because this river is not just a river. It's also a portal. It is a pathway into the underworld. And I have used it before, but only once, because Aya has told me I wasn't ready to use it. It's a very strong portal. This, the magic here is phenomenal, phenomenal. It's also home to a type of mollusk that produces a pearl, a freshwater pearl. This pearl is a light pink to a deep purple. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So there's a magical connection to me in this river and it's not just physical, it's spiritual. I was born in this place for a reason. I was brought back for a reason. I was taught about it for a reason and I connected to it for a reason. Everything that happens to me happens because it's supposed to. Now, with all that out of the way, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ash trees. And I just recently found it. This isn't my ash brother, that's another tree, and I love that tree. This is another that I've just barely met. And the energy it produces, and the strength and the protection I feel standing under it is phenomenal. I've taken a branch from him, or her, or it, and I'm going to make a wand with it? I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure about anything yet. I work a lot, and I work a lot of hours, so what little time I do get, I either spend reading or doing something that I need to. But I have to say, Life might get hard, that beautiful ash. Life might be hard, but if I show gratitude to the spirits that work with me and around me and that show me care, that help me find a solution, then I'll be okay. An attitude of gratitude is what brings good things your way. And you know, I have in my life had bad things happen to me but always in the best kind of way. These bad things have always led to greater things coming into fruition or into my reality. And for this, I'm thankful. I'm so very thankful. Um, so, as I said in the previous video, I'm going to be working with the Anglo-Saxon runes. I said 33 runes, but the one that I found has only 29. I'm gonna start with that, must be symbolic, I'm 29 years old and these 29 runes. I am a life number 11, so two plus nine equals 11, you know, all that good stuff. I'm thinking that it must be a sign. Look at this, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm also going to be working with the runes and talking about my work with the runes. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure it's gonna be fun. And I promise I am going to finish the Beings of the Boundaries videos. I've got the information down, just need to record. So please like, share, and comment. And if you really like us, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, at The Urban Animist. And I hope that I have illuminated some of the unknown and the unseen for you here today. I am The Urban Animist. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.